60 seconds to 90 seconds if if you're giving a commencement speech and it's the you know college kids graduating today and, and what you see in today's macro environment is 2023 what is robert blackwell jr's 60 second commencement speech to people graduating today be world class be world class care more about other people than you care about yourself and you'll be successful whatever it is just be world class at something so if you're world class you don't you don't mark michael jordan didn't start off as world class he had the potential to be world class now he was not going to be a world class jockey there was no way that's going to happen but figure out where in the world you can be world class and give 100%. Dedicate yourself to being world class and having good character and putting other people, not letting people use you. But if you want to be successful in life, the Bible says, frankly, it's better to give than receive. Mm. And I believe that is true. That means you want to think about others before you think about yourself. And if you're going to be in business, whether you're an employee or whether you're an entrepreneur, your job is to solve a problem for somebody that they're willing to pay for. So it doesn't matter what you want. It matters what they want. Solve their problem. So again, be world class. Don't focus on yourself because the more you focus on yourself, you'll be miserable. Mm -hmm. And go learn mistakes from other people. Mm -hmm. Go read books. Read old books, new books, uh, read deeply around philosophy and physics and marketing and all kinds of things. And, uh, but focus on your character because that's the thing that you can't get back in life and think more about accomplishment than entertaining yourself. So that's yeah. my, I spiel. love that. And it, it comes back full circle to what you said earlier about when you even launch a business, don't launch a business for something you want. Like it's something that the market needs it, right? Because business doesn't care about your feelings or your emotion. Mm -hmm. You know, I know, I know that's the last question, but just because I, I learned so much, one last question real quick. I'm so fascinated by it. you've, you're in the financial industry. So you've seen the crashes, you've seen 1987, you've seen 2001, 2008, you saw our Gen Z professional crisis, which was COVID and then this inflationary environment. I'm just really curious, how does, how does Robert Blackwell, you're good at managing money, but how do you, how do you manage stress? Uh, I would say stress is an internal reaction to an external event. Mm. So I think you can't have faith and fear at the same time. It's better mm -hmm. to have faith. Mm. If you have faith, you cannot have fear. Mm. It's like when you're, when you're young. Wow. So I'm religious, you can't have faith in God and then be fearful at the same time. Like if you're, if you're a child and you're scared, what do you do? You run to your parents. So you have faith that they are going to protect you. So if you look at life the same way you look at working out, if you go work out, there's a saying in working out, you know, no pain, no gain. If you don't have to fight through things, you can never progress. So it's just part of life. So you have to, if you want to be successful, you have to manage yourself. The time to be scared is when everything is going your way. Mm. The time to be calm is when it looks like the building is falling on your head. So you have to manage, in fact, in trading, that's what they tell you. You have to manage fear and greed. You have to manage your emotions. So you just have to manage your emotions. You got to fight your way through the challenges that are going to help. If you don't have challenges, you're never going to grow. Mm -hmm. You know, you're just going to live in your parents' basement for every, you know. But eventually, you got to get out in the real world, and you're going to have to deal with adversity. Mm -hmm. You cannot grow as a person if you don't know how to deal with adversity. Yeah.